Hi friends, welcome to the October Card Hop and YouTube Hop. You'll find the link to the next person in the description of my video below. And today our theme is fall and the technique I'm using is a geometric pattern. So I pulled out some, I just got these stamps today. They were literally delivered this morning. I couldn't resist playing with them. This is the um, seasonal haul stamp and die set from close to my heart. I also got the autumn air stamp and die set and I got this really pretty uh, sentiment set called thankful autumn. I actually bought these to create some embellishments for scrapbooks but I'm going to use them to make a card today. And for my geometric pattern technique I am pull I pulled out a bunch of stencils like I have a ton of stencils here you can see a random diamond one from Maker Forte I have this really great circle one from Catherine Pooler and I love that one that's definitely going for backgrounds on scrapbooks and then I have this hero arts one that I just got and it's called leaves and then I have a bunch of great stencils from Three Room Studio. I have that plaid one, but I have this new one. This is a two layer stencil set. You can see how it layers together on this card I made for a hop for Three Room Studio a couple weeks ago. I love this pattern and I really like this diamond lattice. So I want to use that diamond lattice today. I think it's just such a fun pattern. It the second layer of that is like a, a starburst, which is pretty fantastic. And I did a special technique there. I have another, another video on my YouTube channel for that if you want to check that out. So these stamps and dies come beautifully packaged from close to my heart. I love that they include the dies on a magnet sheet. I think that is a great thing for them to do. They also include a piece of foam that you can um, put under your card stock and stamp on the foam to get really good images. And you can see the, the ink colors I'm using. I did pull out pine and I'll pull out another one called Seabrook. So I'm just rubbing my, these are new today, so I'm rubbing them on my arm just to condition them a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and just stamp all the images like two or three times. So I'm just testing them out here. This ink is the Mocha ink. I think it's a, it's a great color for fall. And so I did a few oak leaves with that. And then I pulled out this paprika color, which I love. It reminds me a lot of Cajun Craze from Stampin' Up, which was one of my favorite fall colors. It's like a reddish orange and it's so pretty. It's such a deep color, so I love it. So I stamped each of these and I pulled all of the images off. I did everything but the sentiment and stamped them all like at least three times. So I'm gonna go ahead and die cut everything. And when I do my die cutting, I try to really make sure the die is evenly spaced around the outside of the image that I stamped. And I always tape them down before I run them through my machine so they don't slide. So I got everything die cut out and I decided I wanted to add um, some marker details. So I just got the Spectrum Noir Tri-Blends. This is the... Um, I forget what this is called, Deep Tones Blend uh, set. And um, I actually really like these markers. I was surprised because I'm a huge Copic fan. I have a bunch of Copic markers, but um, these are the deep blends. These are the tri blends. So there's three different colors on each marker and somebody said they were refillable. I have not seen any information about that so I definitely will be learning more about these as I use them. So I pulled out the deep red blend because this little branch with the berries needed to be colored in more and when I got them all colored in with the darkest red I put a dot of white gel pen on each one of the berries up toward the top of each berry. I pushed it aside to dry and then I did some stippling on the top of the acorn because I really wanted the acorn to have a different color top than bottom. And I probably should have switched the colors the other way, but I went ahead and used all three colors. I'm just putting dots of color from all three of these colors. This is the earth blend, the, the earth tone blends or something like that. and. Um, 
I really like this set of markers. Like they're the colors are beautiful. Now you could add marker detail to other like to you know some flicks of darker color to each of the other ones as well, the leaves and everything. Instead of if you don't have alcohol markers, pull out your colored pencils and add some details that way too. So I love this diamond lattice and I decided to turn it sideways just to be different and I want to make a little I know that I want to lay out my leaves in like an L shape in the bottom left corner so I'm just going to um, blend this on so I've got one of my picket fence brushes and I pulled out Seabrook which is a very soft green color at least it looks green to me so and I'm realizing that I didn't have my stencil at the top um, so I flipped it over and started over and this time I'm taping it down so it doesn't move um, and I'm just gonna fill this in now I do not want to cover the entire back of my card so I'm just gonna do part of it so this is a YouTube hop and I will put the uh, link to the next person in the hop below in my description so you can follow along and see what other people make with the geometric or rediform technique that they're using and for the fall theme. So it's a technique and a theme which is really fun. Um, and I picked geometric because I love having a geometric pattern somewhere on my projects so I like to do that and I love to use stencils because I think they're super cost effective and there's so many techniques you can do with stencils I chose to do a simple ink blending today but you could do something with paste or water coloring or anything like that so I have a nice soft background there's my geometric pattern so I just start building my um, my focal image here with my die cuts you can see I'm just uh, giving my leaves a little bit of dimension by you know wrapping them around um, curling them around my fingers some of the leaves will get um, glued down with liquid glue this is Maker's Magic glue from Maker Forte. It's their no-show glue. I actually really like this glue. It's got a nice tip on the end. Um, some of the leaves you'll see I will put a piece of foam on just to give my project a little bit more dimension. And um, I'm just kind of building it here and you can see it's sort of like L-shaped. I put a long one along the bottom toward the right and a long leaf or here in this case a pine bow um, up the card on the left hand side so I'm just building out a little uh, a little tableau here and here's a close-up of um, the colored in berries with the white gel pen I just feel like that's a detail that just um, gives your card a nice touch it makes it look a little bit more realistic plus I got some red in and um, I don't yet have a red ink pad from close to my heart although trust me I've got enough red ink pads in my collection already I could have pulled one out if I wanted to so I'm probably not going to use that um, last bit there I want to put my sentiment up in the upper left hand corner and I am going to add more um, more of that diamond lattice pattern um, because I covered up a lot of it when I put my leaves on so I'll come back and add more of that later first I want to build my sentiment so I pulled out a piece of white scrap paper and um, I thought this would make really pretty titles this set in my traveler's notebooks and in my scrapbooks so I thought this was really nice there's actually one for each season they have a really nice seasonal um, section in their catalog close to my heart and um, this is the first stamp I ever the first um, stamp company I ever purchased anything with was from close to my heart and I um, started looking at their stuff again because I really have gotten back into scrapbooking and uh, I love that I can use my stamps and dies and stencils not only for all the card making stuff that I love to do but also for my scrapbooks and now for travelers notebooks and journals and um, I also make home decor projects around holidays uh, for like 
decorations for my table or uh, Christmas ornaments or things like that. I, I also use my stamps and dies and inks for all of that too. So I get a lot of use out of them, not just cards and scrapbooks, but lots of different projects. And I, some of those home decor projects I have videos for on my YouTube channel as well. So, um, and you'll find scrapbook layouts also on my YouTube channel. I really feel good when I um, use a stamp and die set for multiple different kinds of projects. So I, I layered that title and I used the paprika for the autumn and the mocha for the blessings and I really like that. So I'm adding a little bit more of that diamond background and I'm just being careful not to get it on the leaves and stuff but it's very light so it's not too bad. I'm going to add some splatter. I put a little too much water in here. This was a little bit watered down. That's the mocha I smooshed on, spritzed with water, and then tapped it on with a paintbrush. So I, that's a really pretty piece of purple specialty paper that I cut to fit the top of my card. My um, panel that I decorated is cut down to four by five and one quarter, and I love the purple peeking out. Purple and greens are my favorite colors, so I love them together, and I'm just adding that sentiment, and of course I have to add some bling to my card, so I pulled out some pearls, and then I remember, nope, I must use my champagne pearls from Pink Fresh Studio. This is actually my second package of these champagne pearls. I love them and uh, I just love the color. It's perfect for an autumn card. So I'm adding those with a little bit of liquid glue and my favorite magic wand tool. So you'll find the link to the next person below and I hope you love this project. Please give this video a thumbs up. Have a great day friends.